11 Most Interesting and Useless Music Facts Music constantly has stimulated the happy hormones in us. It's a strange art music, the most poetic and precise art, vague as a dream and clear as algebra. But do you know about some interesting facts behind this? Let us know your answers in the comment below. Hey folks, we are up with something entertaining in today's video. The topic is 11 most interesting and useless music facts. Before moving on to the video, if you guys haven't subscribed yet to our channel, just do it now. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated about our new videos. So let's start. Number 11. Mozart sold more CDs than Beyonce in 2016. Isn't this surprising for you guys, that something has beaten Beyonce in the year 2016? The story behind all this is the Universal Music Group issued a box set honoring Mozart's death on the 225th anniversary of his death in October of the same year. Each box set contained 200 CDs. The box has received a lot of attention. A new complete version, the most authoritative edition ever published, provides Mozart's whole opus, including every last fragment. Over 240 hours of music, 600 soloists and ensembles, 60 orchestras, and every notable Mozart interpreter from the previous 30 years are featured in the edition. The bundle is still available on Amazon. Number 10. World's most extended performance to come to an end. This is interesting. A church in Germany has been playing a song for two decades. Let's look more into this. At St. Butcher Church in Germany, a 639-year performance based on eccentric composer John Cage, as slow as possible, Assels, began in September 2001 and is still going strong. The automated organ's performance is so slow that visitors have to wait months for a chord change, and it is set to end in 2640. The performance is so slow that the organ on which it is performed was not even finished when the concert started. Before the notes and chords were modified, more pipes were added. The organ will require a generation of musicians to keep it going. Number 9. Music that escaped narrowly. On the night the Titanic sank, a significant symphony orchestra narrowly avoided performing on the ship. The London Symphony Orchestra had been scheduled to sail on the Titanic's inaugural voyage, but they were forced to change ships at the last minute. The Titanic's band is one of the most enigmatic and famous stories about the ill-fated ocean liner. The Titanic's eight-piece crew, conducted by Wallace Hartley, gathered in the first-class lounge to play in an attempt to calm the passengers during the sinking of the ship. Number 8. Album from Space this is tricking you guys. Even hearing about this shocked me. An astronaut released an album. The surprising part is all songs of the album were recorded in space. The person who did this is Chris Hadfield, who is the first Canadian to walk in freedom and also the one to record an album there. He released the album in 2015, which was recorded while he was orbiting the Earth. Along with this, the cover he did of David Bowie's Space Oddity went newswhy. So many things together. At that time, he spent 144 days in International Space Station, and there he recorded 11 original songs for his CD Space Sessions, Songs for a Tin Can, which is suitably titled. Number 7. Finland at the Top in Bands Finland has the most metal bands per capita than any other country. With 53.5 metal bands per 100,000 inhabitants, Finland appears to have the most metal bands. Sweden, Norway, and Iceland are the other Nordic countries close behind. Even though heavy metal music began in the United States and the United Kingdom, it has become popular in the Northern Hemisphere. Even a Finnish children's metal band called Hevisaurus, heavy metal dinosaurs have released more than seven albums, the country Finland may be the only place in the world where metal music and its artists are regarded with such reverence, respect, and, dare we say, love. 
bands are registering on the internet to be added to a map of Finland. They also get to tell the world in their own words about themselves and their hometowns. Number 6. The largest free concert was by Rod Stewart. After hearing all these, my heart is beating to attend a concert. You guys also love to attend shows, right? That is also a free one. Wow, this is a remarkable fact. Ron Stewart's free New Year's Eve show on Copacabana Beach may have set a new open-air concert attendance record. The gathering was predicted to be 3.5 million by city officials and both major Sunday newspapers. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Brazilian musician Jorge Benger holds the record for the largest open-air concert, with 3 million people attending his Copacabana performance on New Year's Day 1993. The performance was one of several holiday events in Rio to boost tourism, which has suffered from growing violence. Number 5. Even plant growth can be fastened up by music. Believe it or not, even plants have a great taste in music. According to a study conducted by South Korean experts, plants grow quicker when classical music is played. The scientists used 14 different pieces of music to play music to a rice field and then analyzed the results. The results showed that music aided crop growth and suggested that plants could hear. Sound waves, on the other hand, stimulate the plant cells. Nutrients are urged to travel throughout the plant body when the cells are stimulated by sound, boosting new development and strengthening their immune systems. We recommend that you practice your instrument in your vegetable garden. Number 4. None of the Beatles could read or write music. Paul McCartney sat down with 60 Minutes correspondent Sharon Alfonsi for an in-depth interview on his album Egypt Station. He revealed something pretty contradictory. Neither he nor his Beatles comrades can read or write music. Despite his songwriting prowess, the 76-year-old said he feels ashamed of his lack of music theory knowledge. The music spontaneously came to McCartney and his bandmates John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison, and it was never written down, according to McCartney. We can only imagine what they could have written if they had received any formal musical training. Number 3 Fact About Violin A violin is made up of nearly 70 different pieces of wood. Sometimes known as a fiddle, the violin is a family wooden string instrument. The majority of violins feature a hollow hardwood body that is bonded together. Agents from the so-called golden age of violin manufacture, particularly those by Stradivari, such as the one shown above, Guarneri del Gesù, and Montagnana, are still highly sought after collectors and musicians. Perhaps you'd like to try your hand at making one. Number 2. The Band Which Played on All Seven Continents if you guys are thinking about Antarctica, yes, the band Metallica even performed in Antarctica. Metallica, the American rock band, has set a new Guinness World Record as the first musical group to act on all seven continents. The band set the record after entertaining 120 scientists and competition winners in a transparent dome at Carlini Station in Antarctica. It was like a tour that Metallica performed on all seven continents, then went one after the other to North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia in 2013. This is how they performed on continents in the same year. In 1986, they did their first show in Europe, and in 1996, they conducted their first show in Antarctica. Metallica is amazing, right? Number 1. Music and Physical Performance Are you a person who hears music while doing any physical activities? If yes, you would have got this fact. Music can help you in keeping up with the pace. According to Scientific American, music causes a rhythm reaction. Have you people heard about the response? It's the tendency in people to accompany their physical activity with the music they are hearing. This is known as a rhythmic response. This is why we feel so energetic while listening to music and doing any exercise. When training to play the piano, consider using a metronome. 
Following the rhythm appears to aid the body's energy efficiency, making us more enthusiastic. Don't forget to try this next time. Music competes with the sensations of working out, a rising heartbeat, sweat, and that wrung out muscle feeling, and often wins your attention, diverting your attention away from the unpleasant physical sensations. Exercisers were able to push past weariness with the support of inspiring music. He claims that music can boost endurance during a workout by up to 15% in a paper published by the American Council on Exercise. We are sure that you guys are really surprised by hearing all this. So now it's your turn to let us know your thoughts regarding this. Please share that in the comment section. And also, don't forget to hit the like button guys. Stay tuned for our next fantastic video. Till then, have a wonderful time.